Welcome to the uh, steering rack and pinion NCV Axle Universal Flexbook installation. So I'm going to show you how to do this and then that one over there. So let's go ahead and get dirty and I'll be back after the commercial. So this is how my steering rack would look like right now. Same thing on the driver's side as you can see over there. Right there, on that one, it just hanging right there. And this is the uh, outer uh, CV wood over here. As you can see, it is bad. Hope it's not damaged yet. So I mean the CV axle itself. The inner one, it is still good. The main focus of this video, it's about how to put these boots on the CV axle or on the rack and pinion which either one you're doing not about how to unscrew bolts or how to clean up no uh, if you don't know how to screw or unscrew then uh, you may have to watch another video I don't have one but maybe one day I will make one how to unscrew and screw righty tighty lefty loosey let's start with the rack and pinion this job is for two men but I am by myself, so uh, I'm going to start right here before I raise up the car or I move the tire because this way it'd be easier for me. So first I'm going to move this uh, fast one right here. It should be like that. Now it's loose enough. And then I'm going to uh, move uh, this clip over here. What's it clip? What's the thing? Okay, like that and then I can just like rise them out right here it's like that but this uh, thing over here it's kind of hard to get it out now see how it loses that see right there I can even put my finger under it so um, it will come out now without any trouble but to make it more easier for me I'm going to use a bolt cutter to cut it right here like that and now let's pull it out it shouldn't be any trouble now it's out see push it all the way up here see that's all you need to do now you can cut the boot over here and then take it out listen very carefully um no matter what you're doing if you're doing the uh this one or this one over here you still gotta remove the wheel so if you don't have an impact, impact wrench, make sure you loosen this nut up first before you rest up the car. And if you're doing this one, you're going to have to move this uh, little cap over here. Over here you can find an um, axle nut or a snap ring. So if you're just doing the rack and pinion boot, uh, you just have to remove this tire and then uh, from here right here that uh, crown nut over there and that be it okay what you do need to do first is to move this cutter pin oh splay there you go now remove this nut and then put it back backward like that okay it's good enough and then now hit it right here the reason you put it backwards because that way you don't ramage the ground when you hit it with this one. What you now this one does not want to come out. Alright, so sometimes it's easy to come up with a ledge hammer, sometimes not. But if it's hard, don't damage this one. Now you can get a tool like this one over here from Harbor Freight. Put this one uh, up there like that should go in there now after position it right out and then get you a, a tool or a broker bar whatever you got in hand put that in there it should pop up soon there you go it's out all right here you go well make it easy what you come out over here so now before I forget to tell you um, 
make sure over here it is smooth there is no uh, birds or uh, metals hanging out just in case somebody hit it like I did mine in the middle because I was hit it in the bottom and just in case somebody did that before and there is stuff over here this is in my case my it's smooth everything like that that's good now do a very good cleanup over here in my case I really need to clean this out see inside uh, that thing over there right there there is a lot of uh, like a piece of rubber or little rocks inside I know you can see it now it is clean it's good to go but I changed my mind I'm going to uh, pack that up with grease before I put the uh, boots on it's because I don't think I have enough grease in that thing which that's Lucas in there and I got another one here this is the this is the wallering like that but I don't really like it so I'm going to toss this one on the other side and uh, so I'm going to put this one the uh, this one right here I'm going to do it by hand so if you don't have one of these that's okay because this is what I'm going to do today right here don't forget to use your ex girlfriends on underwear it takes a lot of cleanup over here so whatever it's around go ahead use it don't be afraid just like that it's all greased up that should be enough I know it takes more uh, it needs more but uh, remember it was bad then it was filled up with rubber with dust in there and now look at that it's very clean and then with some grease in there also don't forget to grease this one up while your hand is very greasy uh, make sure this one has to be very greasy because this tiny hole over here have to go over that one see so that's had to be very greasy and this one had to go in first up here and then that one like that until today so this is my special tool I'm going to use today for the rack and pinion I'm going to use this one over here which this one it comes with the whole kit so uh, you don't have to worry about that one if you're doing this by yourself make sure you tie it up like I did mine I, tie, I got it tied up to this way bar so that way I don't have to have nobody to hold it for me so before I do that see the difference right here and that's over there this one has to go through a big uh, rod or metal or whatever so uh, before I do that I'm going to uh, cut this one off with scissors that way it will make it a little bit easier to uh, to go in there but if not it, it's going to be very hard Alright, so now uh, I got it cut off, so it's big enough to go over there in by the transmission, it should be easy. So now I'm going to put some grease in here. Another very hard part is in there because it's not enough space to go in there. All right, before I surprise you, um, my microphone is messed up on me. So the uh, what's coming out, the clips coming out right now, it's, there is no wo voice in it. So I was talking while I was putting this one in and it sure have it 
going in and everything but there was no noise you couldn't hear me so uh, it's going to show you how it went in i end up flipping the inside out and then by the time i got here i just fold it back in to that place it was very easy Now I'm going to uh, fasten this one over here. I didn't show it over there because it's hard to see. And now as you can see, I'm going to use the stainless steel. This is the one it comes with. Just a normal uh, plastic zip tie. You can go any way you want to, it don't matter. That's the way I want my over here. Slide all in there and make sure it gets in this place right there. So after putting this on like this, like that, like make sure it's tight enough. If you don't have this tool, you can use a needle nose plier to uh, pull this one and then use a flathead screwdriver to push that one over there and it don't need much tension so, but uh, I'm going to do my like this right now, I'm going to run this one through here. That way, uh, it'll be more tight than doing my hand. So, I got this tool over here, but I as well use it. So. Now after all the way in there, and then I see this tool over here, I don't know if you know, I don't know how I use this one, if not, just this is how I uh, use my, I'm, do, I'm using the wrong thing, OMG, this one right here. Make sure it's tight in there, take another turn, after tight enough, remember you don't need a lot, a lot of tension. So what, what you do right now, I think right now pull this up like this. That way it will cut it. Here you go, it cuts off. There's a little piece left over there, just bend this one over like this. And it's perfect. Now to do the CV axle, either the outer or the inner, you got it still move this uh, strut over here like move it from the hub before you do that don't forget to uh, loosen up your uh, like sensor or, or uh, brake fluid cable that way you don't rip it so in my case i'm going to remove the brake caliper first this video gotten too long so i decided to uh, split this video in half so if you want to continue watching this video for the uh, CV boot replacement. That video should be on this side over here and then sh another video right here and then subscribe right here on this side. Thank you very much guys. Until next video, bye for now. Ciao.